Hi, welcome to Technology Wizard. Today we're going to be looking at a beautiful gorilla ant. It has gone through a thorough cleaning so it looks completely different to what you will see. But if you're curious as to what it first looked like, here are some four photos. As you can see, very different. Before we go any further, I'll tell you a bit about the history of the Gorilla Ant. Now, there's not much info on this company, but from what info I can gather, the same people who made the famous pig nose amps are the same who built these amps. They were very popular in the early 80s for beginner guitarists. They were the most affordable option at the time compared to other counterparts such as Marshall, Fender or Vox. They were even sported by the band The Damn Yankees with countless adverts. They came in different variants. The GG10 was the baby out of the bunch, only 10 watts and very small. It was perfect for an entry level practice amp. The GG20 was the next up and coming at 20 watts. These were the most popular and had a few revisions such as the GGR with reverb and GGC with chorus built in. GG25 was the 25 watt model, but not much can be found on these models, but they were very good and packs a punch. The second last was the GB30 bass and keyboard amp, and finally the TC35, nicknamed the Tube Cruncher. The model I have today is the GG25. I bought it from eBay for about 130 Australian dollars, including postage from the US. Now let's finally look and see what we have here. So uh, here are the controls. Uh, we've got the tube stack option. We've got the volume. We've got the MS volume treble. We've got the middle and the bass volume. You've got the little light here on and off on the right side there. A nice little gorilla logo. Um, and then you got the Gorilla logo down here, it's, it's a nice addition, um, and that's pretty it, uh, let's hear it. Now I know what you're thinking, I'm no Marty McFly on the guitar, but you get the idea. I apologise for not cranking the volume up to get a bit of grit and grunt, but the pots are very dirty and need to be cleaned. So when turned up loud, it will crack and hiss. I will eventually be doing a part two on this when the pots are cleaned and show a true capability. I'd like to add that these are well worth getting if you want a nice little practice amp or a solid gigging amp. They are coming harder to find, but do show up every so often for a decent price. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Next week, I will be taking a look at the Dick Smith Wizard computer. Hopefully, I'll see you then. In the meantime, if you liked what you saw, give a thumbs up. If you don't like what you saw, let me know in the comments why. And don't forget to subscribe and be notified when I upload new content. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.